Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to define the in-plane and out-of-plane loading. But before going to the lecture, I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given in the link in the description. Now first to define the in-plane and out-of-plane loading and then I will explain these two with the help of the figures and example so it will be more easy to understand. So the in-plane loading. So it is, the it is the type of the loading on any structure member where the load acts along the plane of the member. Where the out of plane, the name shows that this load is acting out of plane of the member. Such type of the loading will be called is the out of plane. Now how to explain these two in our real life. For example, consider this is our inner retaining wall. For example, this on the right side. We have in a retaining wall and this is the plan of our retaining wall. This is the x axis for example and this is the y axis of our retaining wall. So this y and x axis makes the plan of our wall. Now when the load it's along this direction in this direction vertical. So this load now it's along the y direction but in opposite direction to the y-axis. So such type of the loading which acts along the y-axis and y-axis is a part of the plane. This y-axis and x-axis makes the plan and our this load acts along the direction of our y-axis. So it means this load acts in the plane. So that will be known as the in-plane loading. Or for example, if we consider here the load is acting on the retaining wall, maybe the wind load or earthquake load. So now this load acts along the x direction and along the member, along the plane of the member. So this load will be known as the in-plane loading because it acts in the plane of the member. Now what will be the out-of-plane loading? So if I consider again, this is my retaining wall here. So, and this is the y-axis and this is for example the x-axis. So, when the load it's neither in y-axis or neither along the x-axis, so such type of the load will be known as the out-of-plane load. And for example, if I consider here that my load, this one is acting perpendicularly to the wall. So, it is neither along the y-axis, neither along the x-axis. Such type of the loading will be called is the out of plane loading. Out of plane loading. Because this load is out of the plane. The plane of this member is either x axis or y axis. These two axis makes the plan of the member. But here the load is acting perpendicular to this plan. So that's why it is called is the out of plane loading. It means out shows that it is a way or we can say it is out of our member plan. Now if we consider the second example here, so this is in a reinforced concrete shear wall. So again when the load is perpendicular, sorry parallel to this wall and this is for example the y axis and this is the x axis, x axis and this is the y axis. So now this load acting parallel or we can say in the y-axis. So when the load acts in the y-axis, what we call such type of load is the in-plane load because it is acting in the plane of the member. And if I consider the another type of the load which is acting here perpendicular to this wall, which is neither acting along the x-axis, neither acting along the y-axis. So such type of the loading will be called as the out-of-plane loading. Now by considering another example, for example, if I consider another example here, that there is a load acting in this direction on the member. So now this load is acting again in the direction of x axis. So it means that this load again acts in the plane. So we will call is the in-plane loading. So this will be again in-plane loading. So the load which acts in the plane 
of the member will be called as in plane loading and when the load it's out of the plane of a member will be called as out of plane loading hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video